Hi there YouTube, welcome to another vlog. I'm at um, Shaw Bridge today at Dewarstone Wood. As you can probably tell from the couple of clips you've just seen, the river's very high and it's kind of come over its banks a little bit. Had a hell of a lot of rain the last few days. So, I won't be doing any river shots. That wouldn't be... I don't think they'd come out very good if I did. I saw some really nice trees on the way down here, so I'm going to go back up the bank and uh, see if I can grab a shot of those. I've moved back up the bank now, back up to um, further away from the river. Um, as you can tell, it's uh, pretty dodgy down there. The river's moving really fast. So, the composition that I'm eyeing up here is um, got some really nice interesting trees the way they sort of twist off and they're creating some really nice patterns and lines um, and then we've got two um, almost vertical different type of trees either side that are going to frame the shot quite nicely but just on the floor at the foot of one of the trees is a big moss covered rock uh, which is going to create a nice bit of foreground interest so I'm going to set up and uh, have a look what this shot looks like through the camera. The only issue that I'm going to face is um, it's quite dark in here and also uh, it's pretty windy. So I've got to be careful uh, what settings I use so that I don't get any sort of cam um, so I don't get any sort of motion blur in the shot. Okay, enough waffle, let's get set up. Okay, the thing I like about this composition is the, uh, the two trees that frame uh, the trees that are the main focal point. Um, the only slight thing that I'm concerned about is they're quite large in the frame and they, they could kind of overshadow the main focal point, which is the trees in the middle so I could zoom in tighter but then that cuts out a lot of the trees that I want to get in the frame if I come out wider I get quite a bit of sky in the shot now I could crop that down I suppose I think what I'll probably do actually is crop the sides in and try and um, make it a more tall sort of image. I think what I might do is flip the camera into portrait orientation to see if that makes it look better. Yeah, that works. I think that makes it look better. I'm going to have to crop it down at the top a little bit to get rid of some of the sky. 
because there's quite a lot of highlights in the top of the frame. Um, so I've positioned the moss coloured rock that's at the foot of the tree on the right, right in the bottom right hand corner of the frame. And my focal point is going to be on the centre tree that's nearest to me. OK, so now I've got the shot framed. Um, I've got my composition set how I want it. I've got my focus set. Now I've got to decide on shutter speed, ISO and um, my aperture. So I think I'm going to try and keep my aperture at f11. I want all of those trees all the way through the frame in focus. So at the moment, at um, so f11 with my ISO set to 50, um, and I'm underexposed by let's just so I'm underexposed by a whole stop. That's giving me a two-second exposure. It is quite dark in here. I'm just going to check that for uh, to make sure that it's sharp. And that is, that is nice and sharp, that is. Yep, that's bang on. Lovely. Now, any movement, any motion blur that's in the top of the frame from the thinner branches, that's going to get cropped down. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, quite happy with that one. I'll show it to you now. I have found probably the most epic oak tree that I've ever seen. It's just awesome, this tree is. Um, I'm going to take you off of there and I'm going to take your walk around this tree. Just look how epic this tree is. I think you'd agree, wouldn't you, that this tree is just absolutely epic. And it'd be rude not to photograph it. Seeing as I'm here, it's amazing. Just to give you some idea of how amazing this little spot is here, I'll just turn around. Um, you could probably see back there yeah, I think it's kind of about there, is where my car is. So I haven't even walked 50 metres from my car and I've found composition over there, this tree here, which I'm going to try and get two photographs from. Um, so let's go through that now. OK, so, so I've had to position myself um, at this angle because Right there, there's a, there's a sapling growing in front of this beautiful oak tree. And I don't want that in the shot at all. So, my next challenge is now how to best frame up this awesome tree to get the best from it. Um, I've got to deal with a lot of sky. There's, um, there's not really a way around that unless I crop so much out of it that all the interesting parts of the tree will be gone. 
So let's just try portrait orientation. Let's see what that looks like. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to I'm going to try two methods here. I'm going to try two different techniques here, see which one works the best. So first shot I'm going to take. See, this is confusing my camera now because at the top half of the frame there's an awful lot of bright highlights going on. The sky is completely grey and dull. Um, but then the bottom of the frame is quite dark. So what I might have to do is I could put a graduated filter on. Um, but my concern with that is, is that once it's there, you can't get rid of it. Yeah. This is presenting more problems than I expected. It's an awesome looking tree, but it's proving not easy to photograph. I could do an exposure blend, but I hate doing that. And that would have to that would mean I'd have to resubscribe to Photoshop in order to do it. Because I cancelled it because I never ever use it. So what I might try and do is expose for the top half of the tree and then bring up the shadows in post to brighten up the bottom part. Hopefully that will work. We shall see. So I've tilted the camera up so that I can get the, uh, the bottom and all the way up to the top in the frame. So I'm at F11 um, because I want everything right to the top of the tree uh, in sharp focus. ISO 50. And uh, that's given me a fifth of a second. Now what I've got to do, I've got to wait for the wind to calm down a bit. So I don't want a lot of motion blur in any of these branches you see. Now will be a good time. Okay, that's my first composition. Let me know what you think of it. I'm gonna try a couple of different ones. Okay, what I'm doing now is I am focusing right into the top of the tree, right against the backdrop of the sky, and I'm exposing so that the, the tree looks completely black and the sky is going to look white. I'm just going to mess around with my white balance to see if I can actually make that sky even whiter. And that's going to be a kind of abstract um, monochrome shot.
Okay, I'm going to end the video there. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you like the video. I hope you like the images. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. If you haven't done already, then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video.